ready? Good morning. On a recent camp out, sitting around a campfire, I had a young scout come up and sit down next to me, and he wanted to talk about life. He was kind of bummed about school, family, and just life in general. He said things were really tough and life was hard. As he was telling me his story, I got up and put three pots of water on a campfire and let the water come to a boil. Once the water started boiling, in one pot, I placed some potatoes. In the second pot, I put an egg. In the third pot, I placed some coffee beans. While those were boiling, Kale and I, that was the scout's name, went for a short little walk. During that time, he continued to tell me about his troubles at home. He had a younger brother at home who was mom's favorite and got all the special treatment. He also had an older brother who had just turned 16. And so he was out driving all the time, and he never had to be at home to help with all the hard work. So Kale was stuck doing everything at home. He was also, according to him, the smallest kid in his class at school, so all the older boys picked on him. None of his teachers liked him, so therefore he got all the extra homework and just made things really, really tough at school. As we're coming back to the campfire, the last thing he says to me is, Mr. McCoy, you're just too old to remember how tough life is at school. <laughs> When we got back, I took the potatoes out of the pot of boiling water, placed them in a bowl, took the egg out, placed it in a bowl, and poured the coffee into a cup. Then I asked Kale, tell me what you see. He kind of looked at me like I was crazy and said, well, that's the same stuff you were messing with before we left. I said, no, let's take a closer look. Pick up the potatoes and tell me what you feel. He's like, yuck, they're all soft and mushy. He goes, but look at the egg. It looks the same as it did before. And we'll go ahead and take a sip of the coffee. He goes, well, it smells really great. He goes, it has a really nice, rich, strong flavor. I go, now, Kale, all three of these items, by no choice of their own, face the same harsh adversity in life. They were thrown into a pot of boiling hot water. The potatoes, they were tough and strong, but the water made them weak, mushy, and soft. The egg, it looked the same as it did before. No real change, but its insides had become hard. Now the coffee, it was special and unique. Before, you might have said it was the runt, the smallest one of the bunch. But it had worked, it teamed up with the water, and they improved themselves. They actually turned themselves into something better than what they were before it started. So I asked him, which one of these do you want to be as you grow up? Do you want to be tough, tough and sure of yourself when times are comfortable? They'll become soft and wilt when the times become hard? Are you going to be hide your inner feelings behind the tough outer shield? but let life turn your heart hard and kill your spirit? <clears throat> or are you gonna embrace the challenge? Meet the challenge head on. Are you gonna to work to improve the situation? Work with those around you to make life better? Or are you just gonna sit around and complain about how tough things are? Tough luck, hard times, gloomy days, heartache, and pain. It happens to every one of us. It's called life. It happens. Strong people, content people, happy people, they deal with just as much toughness in their life as those that are miserable. What they've done is they've just worked. They figured out a way to deal with that adversity, challenge, beat the challenge head on, and strive to make the situation better. Those that are miserable, they haven't learned how to do that yet. So what you have to do in life is learn to meet those challenges head on. Take them on, work hard, and remember you have to enjoy the coffee.